All right, welcome everyone. Thank you again for jumping on. This is the third of our webinar series sessions for our admitted graduate students. Um, today we have a representative from RD Housing who's going to discuss um, some of the graduate housing options that you have, Jessica Malone. Um, so we really appreciate her being here. Um, so at this point, I think we'll just jump in with um, Jessica's um, presentation and then we can certainly open it to any Q&A questions that folks may have. Um, and yeah, and we'll, we'll go from there and see, see how it goes. But Jessica, I'll turn it over to you. Great. Well, first of all, congratulations on everyone's acceptance into RIT. Uh, we're excited to welcome you um, next fall. And happy to be here to answer any and all of your housing questions that you may have. So graduate students in RIT housing. Um, RIT, we have a lot of housing. We house over 6,000 students and have many options and different types of housing that you can explore. And our main function of our RIT housing all happens on my life, which is just mylife.rit.edu. So that'll be your portal for all of your housing business and applications. So graduate students are assigned to all types of RIT housing. They're not, there's not one specific area um, designated just for graduates. They are, you can choose between any of our options. So we have over 20 different types um, that range in different lifestyle needs and preferences, depending on if you um, prefer to live in a single occupancy, um, furnished, unfurnished, um, depending on what your needs are. And graduate students are assigned on a space available basis. So one of my talking points today is to definitely, um, now that you've been accepted, um, to if you're considering living in RIT housing to fill out your application as soon as possible, um, you'll have access to that My Life portal. And um, the assignment team will be looking based on when you fill out your applications as a good way for us to gauge um, the order of wait lists and when to assign you. So the date of your application uh, will be considered. As you explore on our website, we have a comparison tool where you can really dive into our different types of housing and consider which might work best for you. Uh, just as a quick breakdown, we have some of our more budget-friendly options, uh, River Knoll, which is on campus, one of our older housing um, complexes. And River Knoll is not furnished, so that is great for someone that wants to come here and, and buy their, invest their, in their own furniture, or perhaps they have someone that has furniture and storage waiting for them. The RIT Inn, which is located just off campus and has shuttle service, it's about a five minute drive. Um, the RIT Inn is really nice, and I think graduate students tend to gravitate towards the Inn um, because you can have um, the option of applying for to have a room for yourself, and it's more of a hotel setup, so there's a lot of amenities there um, that's different from our apartments on campus. Perkins Green has been recently furnished, so that does have furniture. Uh, they are primarily two-bedroom apartments with two people assigned to each bedroom, and that is a great budget-friendly option. We have other um, housing in Global Village and University Commons that are higher in amenities, um, different style apartments and suites um, that people also like um, due to the location and where they are on campus. So again, go to our website. We have, if you click on the Residences tab on the top of our website, you can click on pages and explore all about your room and the different features of each of the housing options. Here's just some pictures of the exteriors of some of the, the places that we talked about. Um, so they all vary in, in different style and personalities. And so it's good to take a look now and think about uh, what would fit best for your needs. When you complete your application, you'll have an area where you can list your preferences. So I encourage you to list you know, your top three preferences. And as we're working off of the wait lists, we will, that is what we will use um, to determine your assignment.
As I mentioned before, one of the big benefits is that you can do all of your housing business right online through the My Life portal. All of our buildings have the card swipe and key access and are surrounded by public safety. Uh, we have blue lights on campus and an RIT safe app that you can talk to your peers about um, how they utilize that function. We are close proximity to campus. Um, at all of our housing um, besides the inn is right on campus walking distance to classes. We have the nine month contracts that coincide with the academic year. So if you decide that you're here for a semester but you're gonna study abroad or uh, do a co-op or something, um, you don't have to worry about subletting or the termination fee, I see that is there as well. All utilities and features are included and there's free shuttle service around campus and to and from the local shopping areas right in Henrietta. So I touched on this earlier, but once you're accepted, it's really important to go to that My Life portal and complete your 21-22 housing application. They are available and open now. Um, so once you get assigned, you'll be part of our group of students that's um, in our waitlist pool that's waiting to be assigned. And we will look at that order of when you complete your application um, to try to match your preferences as spaces become available. So excited to be able to provide that on-campus living experience and happy to answer any questions if um, you have any or if you've heard any questions from your peers that you would like to get some more information on. Happy to answer them today um, or I can provide my email as well. Yeah, so any questions from, from folks in the audience that they, they would like answered. I'll ask one that uh, might be a question that people having um, for for graduate students who are applying for housing and let's say they find something available. Being a graduate student, how do you guys do the roommate matching? How does that come to be? Sure, so when a space becomes available, we look at the wait list and we make sure that it matches um, your profile. So as you're filling out that application, you're gonna be answering questions about what you're looking for. Um, you know, if you're a smoker, if you're not a smoker, um, if you wanna live with, um, if you'll live with an animal. I mean, we take all of that into consideration when we look at spaces open and make sure that when you're assigned that it matches what you've said you're looking for. Thank you. If you are exploring other options, I mean, a lot of our grads live around campus as well. There's no harm in applying for RIT housing. There's no cancellation fee. Uh, we have a schedule once you have an assignment, but up until the point where you get an assignment, there's no um, pressure of having an application with us active. Once you get an assignment, you'll have a time period when you're emailed your assignment confirmation where you can cancel with no fee. So even if you're considering off-campus options, I would still urge you to have an application with us if it's something you're considering. Um, and then you don't have to worry about any penalties if you decide to cancel later on. Jessica, can you also maybe um, give some students, I noticed there's a couple of international students um, participating today and who will be listening to the video. Um, can you give them any guidance for how do they go about perhaps looking at options off campus? Are there places that you can guide them to look or places that larger numbers of our students tend to look at? Sure, if you're looking at the Rochester area, RIT is located in Henrietta and our zip code is 14623. So I would just um, put in that zip code and looking for housing and you'll see a lot of options that become available. Thanks. Move-in week for housing starts on August 15th. 
So as people are making arrangements, um, that will be the move-in week for RIT housing. Um, I know that everything is, is evolving with um, COVID and keeping track of quarantine requirements. I know Peggy just mentioned some international students may be um, joining us. So just keeping an eye on New York State and what the requirements are closer um, as we get further into summer and keeping that in mind. Um, RIT will be putting out notifications that if you do have an RIT housing assignment, and you're required to quarantine, we'll be sending out advice um, about that as it gets closer. Other questions that <clears throat> folks have that in the audience? Um, I, I have a quick question. Um, so I know when I was in undergrad, like getting housing in Global Village or, uh, or University Commons was like competitive to get in because everybody wanted to. Uh, but as a graduate student, because now we're not like the primary, um, I guess, students first that come first for housing, uh, what options do you think have higher chances for graduate students to get housing with RIT, like within campus? Yeah, it's hard to know exactly which areas will have more openings. That's why I encourage you to choose multiple preferences when you fill out your application so you can be considered for um, a lot of different areas because we will be monitoring cancellations and room changes in all areas of our housing. So um, it really comes down to just selecting multiple preferences and uh, we'll do our best. If you have an application with us, we'll be sending out regular updates about our application statuses so that you can um, make the best decisions for your housing um, before fall. Jessica, are there, um, are there certain areas on campus that um, graduate students tend to flock to um, just in terms of you know, selecting different areas? Is there just one in particular or a couple that are more frequently, you know, pursued by graduate students from that from that lens? Yeah, no, really graduates are spread all throughout campus and all of our housing options. So there's there's not one area or cluster I would say that that they gravitate towards. Cool. Okay. Other questions that, that folks have? All right. Well, thank you, Jessica, again. I really appreciate it. Um, this will be, this will, I, I know this is going to be really helpful for folks to view this, um, particularly our international students, because we do get so many. And, um, you know, I think, I think this is a, a good addition to the, to the series and we'll get the recording out to folks as well. But thank you again for joining us, folks. Um, our next session will be in two weeks. So that one will be with um, Julian Hennerfroth. He is the co-op and career advisor for all graduate students. So he'll be talking about the co-op program, career, um, and all the resources that RIT has. It's, there's certainly abundance of those resources. So we definitely encourage you to attend that one. It'll be April 21st, um, same time at 8.30 in the morning. Um, but hopefully we'll see you then. Um, and thanks everybody for, for tuning in. We appreciate it. Have a good day.